What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can track conversions in Google Ads from ClickBank. I already made a video on this about two years ago. It is slightly outdated now, and I've gotten a ton of comments about that, which makes sense because the Google Pixel layout has slightly changed with their new interface layout, and ClickBank did not make the corresponding change in their documentation. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I have my ClickBank account here, and I have my Google Ads account here. So let's go first to ClickBank, and let's pull up the window where you actually input the pixel, and then we'll go into Google and we'll create those pixels. So in your dashboard, when you first log into ClickBank, you will see a window that looks something like this. As you can see, this is my YouTube demo account, so it's kind of empty. But we are gonna go into vendor settings here, click on my site and scroll to the bottom. And then over here, as you can see, integrated sales reporting is where we are going to add our pixels. So I'm going to click on add tracking code. I'm going to click on Google AdWords and click add. And this is where we add our pixels. Okay. And I'll show you how to create that and all that good stuff. Uh, we can click affiliate here and we can click order form and confirmation form. So if you want to track how many sales you made, but also how many people landed on your order form page, you want to make sure you check mark both of these. And of course, if you're a vendor, you select vendor. If you're um, selling products on ClickBank and you have affiliates promoting it for you, generally in most of the cases, you're going to be an affiliate. So I'll just stick to this example for now. So now let's actually create the, the pixel, the conversion pixel. We need two. We need one for the view page, the view order form page, and we need one for the purchase. So I'm going to go here, tools and settings, conversions. And as you can see here, I've already created a few conversions. Check out my previous video if you want to know how to create the call only conversions for call ads. But what I'm going to do here is create two regular website conversions. So I'll click on add here. Let's click on website. And this is where we select the, uh, the option. So the purchase is when someone purchases from ClickBank. Page view, when someone views the order form page, in this case, for ClickBank. So let's start with the purchase pixel because that's probably the most important is how many people actually bought. We can enter a conversion name. So you only really have to enter this once. So you would say ClickBank sale right, or ClickBank purchase. You only have to enter this once. So if you're promoting 20 different ClickBank products, you don't have to come in and make 20 different pixels. I will explain in a little more detail how that works and why that works later. For now, just know that you have to only make one pixel for each one purchase, one uh, order form view. Um, so that's the name for the value. You just enter, you know, how much approximately the sale is going to be worth. Now, uh, in this case, you will have to calculate the sale yourself because you don't have access to ClickBank. You can't come in and edit and make changes and add the dynamic pixel and stuff like that. So what you can do is um, you can either not use a value or you can use a value and just say, for example, $1, right? And then what you would do is when you see conversions, you just do the math in your head. You made three sales, okay, three sales times 20 bucks, right? Whatever it is to calculate um, the profit. Unless you're making hundreds, or thousands of sales per day, this really shouldn't be an issue. Um, now, the, the count here is, so if one person makes several purchases, do you want to count that as one conversion or several conversions? I like to count it as one. So um, if one person buys three times, I like to count that as one conversion. I like to go kind of, um, what do you call it? You know, m make, I guess, the best case scenario. So even though I see one conversion, it's actually more than one conversion, right? So that's good for me. But again, you would go into ClickBank and you would try to do the math yourself by seeing how many conversions you got. So that's that. Conversion window says after a person clicks on your ad, how many days do you want to give him? How many days should the cookie stay on there before that can be considered a sale? So you can leave this at 30 days. Um, this isn't too big of a deal here, but there are other options. If you're promoting, of course, larger scale products, which is not going to be the case on ClickBank, like houses, you know, you would want the window to be much larger, of course, because the cycle, the, the purchasing cycle of a person to buy something as big as a house or a car is much larger than 30 days. Um, but we'll just leave it at 30 days for here. View through conversion window. Uh, you, we can just leave that at one day. Include in conversion. So we're gonna leave this at yes for the purchases and the order form. Um, 
check out my previous video I made on how to show multiple conversions under the same campaign because that will be important for you to understand how you can see both the sale and the order form views under one campaign because there's only one conversion column. So how do you see different conversions? So make sure to check that video out. The link is up above. Um, attribution model. So leave it at last click. I'll explain again when I get to the part explaining why you only need one pixel. I'll get to this part explaining what this is. Um, there's different options here. Uh, Data-driven requires much more conversion data. It's a more sophisticated approach. Uh, leave it at last click. That is the best, I would say. Um, and I will explain this in a little more detail later on. So let's just create our pixel here. And so we have different options. We can install the tag yourself, email the tag, or use Google Tag Manager. So let me show you what the tag itself looks like. So here is the tag, OK? Now, when we go back here, the Google AdWords ID, this is not your Google AdWords account ID. This is not this one, right? That number there. That's not it. Um, Instead, it's the ID of your conversion pixel, kind of like Facebook. If you guys are familiar with Facebook, Facebook has a pixel ID for every account. It's the same thing here. Google has a pixel ID for every account. So this is going to be our ID. Now for the, oops, um, for the, in this case, purchase label, because this is a purchase pixel, the purchase label is this right here. So everything after the slash, okay? right there. So that is the purchase label. Now, if you get lost or if you're unsure or you're confused, click on Use Google Tag Manager and it tells you everything right here. Super simple. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the full code and what it looks like. But this is everything that's just fl flat out laid out for you. So I'm going to copy this, put the ID here, right? This is our Google ID and then the conversion label. So this is our conversion label. I'm going to put this in the purchase. Uh, because this was our purchase pixel, right? We're going to go back and we're going to create that order form view pixel. Um, and then what ClickBank does is they simply look at this code and they just fill in the blank. So ClickBank on their end, they will create this whole code for you, but the only things that will replace are the ID. So their ID is default, you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. They're going to replace it with your ID. Then their um, purchase label will be, you know, 0000. zero, zero, zero. They're going to replace it with your purchase label. And that's how this process works. ClickBank will have this entire code on their page, and they're just going to replace their placeholder values with your code. That's how this works. And again, there's the ID there, ID there, ID there. Okay, so that's all they do. And that's it. That's how it works. So once we've done that, we click next, we click done. Um, and this is our pixel here. Now it's unverified because we haven't made a sale yet. Once you see a sale, it will be. But let's just finish this off really quickly and add the ClickBank order form page view. So you can really name this whatever you want. It's not like you have to name the purchase a purchase or you have to name a page view a page view. But this just makes it much easier for you when you'll be categorizing your conversions. And it'll be easier for you to understand what is what. So in this case, I'll, I will name it page view and I'll name this ClickBank order form views. And I will again here say, okay, so for order form views, you're not really making any money. Um, so you could really just not assign anything, uh, but I'll just leave it at one for now. The count again, we'll just go with one conversion window. We went over all this include in conversions. Definitely. This is important. Uh, and let's click on create and continue. And again, we're going to go back here. Now, as you can see, the ID is the same, right? It ends at one, uh, ends with 1656, 1656. But what we will do is we will take this, oops, we will take this label and we will put that here and that is it, okay? So now we'll click done here, we'll click done here and we'll click save here. And now if we scroll down again, uh, we have to activate this pixel. So we have to click uh, play, the green play button to activate it and that's it, okay? So now this is working, um, click bank, cr they, they have this code and they put it on their page and they just fill in the blanks with your numbers that you provided them. And that's it, that's, that's how it works. Once you do get some visits, you do get some sales, this will turn from verified to, uh, from unverified to verified and to ge start generating the conversions. Now to answer the question that I didn't before in the past, um, let me just quickly go back to one of these to show you. So you might be asking, well, if I have 20 conversions or 20 campaigns, how, you know, how does Google know which campaign to attribute the conversion to? Um, and the answer to this is because of our attribution model last click here. So what's going to happen is, suppose you do have five campaigns 
and a person goes to your campaign one, campaign two, campaign three, and then they go to campaign five and they buy. Google will attribute the sale to that campaign five, right? Because in this case, the last click attribution model is set. So the very last campaign that was clicked on by your visitor is the campaign that will show that conversion. And so this is how it works. So to answer your question, how do I know which conversion will be attributed to the right campaign if I have 20 campaigns? Google does that automatically based on the last click setting, based on the last uh, campaign that was clicked on. So if the last campaign that was clicked on was piano lessons, I will see a conversion here under piano lessons. Now again, check out my previous video because as you can see, there's only one conversion window. So how do you kind of separate out and, and show all the different conversions? Uh, I, I have an example in the previous video and that will show you how to do that. But that is it. So now once you make sales or once people go to your order form in ClickBank from Google Ads, you should see it show up here. But that is it and that is how you set up conversions between ClickBank and Google Ads. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my previous playlist on Google Ad uh, setup and Facebook ad setup where I take you from beginning to the end of setting up uh, campaigns in both. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.